Two land sites for a new housing model with longer minimum stay requirements have been put up for sale. The new model of private rental homes has a minimum stay of three months. The homes will be built alongside conventional residential units on a 99-year lease. Now, one site at Zion Road could potentially yield at least 435 new long-stay service departments, among the estimated 1,170 units. Another site at Upper Thompson Road could see some 100 of such rental units among 640 residential homes. The housing model announced last week aims to cater to those who prefer to rent rather than buy a home. But market watchers say not all developers may have the expertise to operate service departments. And that means there may be no more than three bidders in this tender. For the Zion Road parcel A site, we think the top bid may exceed $1,300 per square foot. Uh, looking at that, the absolute quantum may be more than $1 billion. For the Upper Thompson Road parcel A site, this area is uh, in a way untested for service apartment. So the risks to developers are, are higher and they will have to price that in. We think that the top bid uh, might not exceed $1,000 per square foot per block. A second 99-year leasehold parcel for sale at Upper Thompson could also potentially yield some 940 residential units. Altogether, authorities say these will be introduced as a new neighbourhood in the Springleaf Precinct. Residents there can look forward to more amenities as well as a new MRT station. As the sites are close to the Central Catchment Nature Reserve, environmental studies were conducted and feedback gathered to guide development plans to minimise the impact to the surrounding biodiversity and ensure that animals can still move from place to place safely. Some analysts say that while the government has released many land sites for private housing this year, demand is still high as the number of homes that haven't been snapped up remains low. Now, the new projects in Zion Road and Upper Thompson Road are expected to yield close to 3,400 units. Now, that's including the service departments. More than 9,000 new homes have been added to Singapore's private housing supply this year alone. And the number is the highest in a decade and is around 50 percent more than last year. The government says that this is part of plans to increase private ho house supply to meet housing and rental demand. Now this, it says, will promote market stability. More private housing supply, including long-stay service departments, will be released in upcoming land sales. Market watchers say that this will help keep prices in check and allow them to grow at a more sustainable pace. This year, the government has launched sites for sale in areas such as Media Circle, Lentor Central and Marina Gardens Lane. What we have seen so far is it is quite uh, well spread across all sectors, uh, particularly um, the bulk of local demand is likely to come from uh, the city fringe, which is the RCR region, as well as the outside central region, uh, the suburban areas. So land uh, release for sale is likely to concentrate on these two locations rather than the prime location.